Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, a podcast in which I, your host Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. As always, I got a special guest. I'm going to go ahead and read their bio, introduce them, and get them started. For those who don't know who or what she is, she's known as the infamous test subject, but you can call her infamous X1X. She's a variety streamer, cosplayer slash model, host slash caster, and mother. Through her streams, she promotes mental health awareness, diversity, parents who gain a positive self-perception, and loving your individuality through the enjoyment of gaming. Without further ado, I would like to introduce my guests for the evening, the one, the only, infamous X1X. Thank you for joining the podcast. How are you doing tonight? Hi. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Sleepy, but I'm great. <laughs> what? All right, we got through the intro. I just want to make sure I said the shit correct. I said infamous. I said it correctly. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes, you said it correctly. Yeah. Everybody who's listening, it's not I'm famous. I just had to say that once. <laughs> you be getting them motherfuckers' ass when they be fucking up. I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> make them know. It's gotten so bad. I've literally had to change the catchphrase to uh, say my name correctly when you're spelling it. Like, <laughs> I'm going to need you to get that. Yeah. It's so bad. It's, it's so it's, bad. You know, <laughs> one day, one day. All right, Enfi, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I've been dying to know how there's a, you have a few things that you uh, accomplish in the creator world. I'm going to go ahead and just ask, how did you start creating content? And I guess you can start wherever you want. You got to, you got to resume here. So I was like a six-year-old kid, and I told my grandma I wanted to entertain people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I've been doing one way or another my entire life. Okay. So it, it just started off with modeling, and I went from not really, it wasn't there. I'm a plus-size person. It's not a great industry. Mm -hmm. A very wonderful friend of mine named Dark Zero Omega started to do content creation, and I modded for him. And I was like, hey, I could do this. Mm-hmm. Seven years later, <laughs> yeah, I this is what I, I've become. So everything in my journey for this was else cultivated prior to getting here, or something along the lines of somebody else suggested or thought it'd be a good idea for me, like casting and hosting. It was like, hey, you should do this, and then, well, uh, here we are, several different tournaments and events later. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I've done it. So it's it's just kind of those things you pick up and over the years. Yeah. Oh my God. I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me start with this one. Infamous X1X. Can you explain the origin story of your of your username? Yeah. So I have an entire like Xbox name. Uh -huh. Um that is very dear to me. Like I I'm going to say it. I normally don't say it in public, Ooh. but it's most hated X1X. Okay. It's it's an old past. You know, a lot of things went with it. So when I decided to do content creation, I still wanted to take that whole thing. And one of the games, the actual game Infamous, yeah. one of the games played when I was thinking about it, whereas you got the good and the bad. Um, and I decided to keep the M for not just the most hated, but I lost my mom. Yeah. Her middle name is Marie, mm -hmm. uh, Maria. And my sister, who is my world, um, her middle name is Maria. So that is why the M is there. That is why there's no N. Yeah. It is the, the M and the X1X. Because the X1X used to stand for something bad. It used to be fuck you. Yeah. Um, it used to be. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. It did. That's why I said. Yeah. You see, I got rid of the old exactly. persona. That wouldn't oh. have went very well. Right. But in the same honor, my mom's birthday is the 19th of October. So it still plays out in respect for my mom who got me into gaming. So my name actually inspired by the game infamous and my mama okay <laughs> oh exclusive first off thank you for sharing that that is an amazing backstory to a username that i've heard thus far like i wouldn't have guessed any of that and i i was hoping secretly that infamous the game was somehow inspired i wouldn't have guessed that was the reason but i love that game so that's awesome yeah such a good game <laughs> well uh that's amazing uh again thank you for sharing i'm sure a lot of people ask you the origin story of your name so now they can just come over here and listen it's right here yes <laughs> just gonna start sharing the clip of this just here listen exactly. to that i'm gonna cut it for <laughs> you <laughs> all right mp let's let's get into the nitty-gritty not really the nitty-gritty again the re one of the main reasons why i want to start this podcast because i feel like us creators don't talk 
about the mental side of content creation enough. And I know from experience that a lot of us have some deep, deep knowledge on the fact, but we keep it in discord channels or in like little group chats. So this is me reaching out to my friends, to other content creators saying, Hey, what is your current mindset? What are you feeling as far as your content goes? And, and do you have anything that you're pushing towards uh, the future with your content? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those people that this industry has definitely taken its swing and blows and hits at me. And when normally that happens for me, I kind of just put my head down. Mm -hmm. Like, so if I'm quiet, I'm not really saying very much. And then the next thing you know, oh, she's gotten a partnership. Oh, she's, you know, featured here. I get angry. Mm. I get angry. And mm. because I know how hard that I've worked in this industry. So I, I'm very silent about my wins. I don't really discuss a lot. And mm. that's just that's just from past experiences. I have trust issues. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> um, but I, I'm I'm actually being very quiet about something I'm doing now. Um, I got very discouraged the past, like I want to say two years. Okay. I tried, you know, you see the people sit there like, yeah, I'm going to do a partner push. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I tried it. Right. And every time I tried it, it just didn't work for me. Gotcha. And I'm like, you know, all right. I didn't understand. I still, you know, I still don't understand. And I, I made jokes about it. I, you know, sat there and said, oh, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to make my content. And I want to say like at the, the end of last year, beginning of like just the start of this year, I was like, that was my goal. You know, everything else that I've achieved mm -hmm. was not my goal. Um, I've been dismissed on that. It's like, well, you know, you won an award. That's not Twitch partner. Um, <laughs> you work for EA. That's not Twitch partner. Mm -hmm. You've been featured on this. That's not Twitch partner. When I initially started this goal, this path, that's what I wanted. Um, I want that respect. Mm -hmm. That is a different prestige. Not saying everybody that has it is prestigious. This is true. But that's that's the prestige after all of this time and all of my accolades and my six to seven page media kit. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one thing. Like it's embarrassing. I don't think people realize that it's very embarrassing to walk into somebody's chat mm -hmm. and them sit there and be like, "Are you hiding your partner badge?" Oh wow, that's no. Someone no. Said that? yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Top wow. three messed up things I've had said to me right? is. You're hiding your partner badge. Okay. I didn't deserve something that I've won or I've been given. Okay. And then someone telling me, oh, I didn't support you because you got something I wanted. Like this industry Ooh. has what? hit me hold on, hold on. hard. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody said, I'm not supporting you because you got something I wanted out loud to you. Yeah, 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 they did. Yo, what the They fuck? said it to my face. They, they said it to my face. They said it was not. And so they actually seen how I interacted with somebody else. Oh my God. That they seen I wasn't a bitch. And I'm like, yo, that's wow. crazy. I mean, they, respectfully, they didn't call me a bitch. I'm I just saying. You. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just like, it was the gut check. Like, wow. I, like, you know, I've been the same person. You know, I've gotten older. You know, I got some more gray hairs. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've gained weight, lost weight, you know, so on and so forth. But overall, as a person, I tried to stay pretty grounded. So it's like I I hear a lot of the myths and the things of people not wanting to support people to hit that goal because they else don't want that person to change or they don't mm. want a larger community. But it's like I don't think people realize when someone says that this is what they want to do, you have one of two options. You can support their dreams and their goals or you could walk away. Right. And for me, it sucks because I'll have people, as soon as I'm not saying that I'm pushing for this, they're around. That's, mm. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. And so I made a post not too, just a few days ago. Yeah. And I didn't say the word out loud, but I said, if you know me well enough to know that this is what I want, this is, this is the goal that I've wanted. This is the, the sonic ring that I don't have. Mm -hmm. And I want it. You know, and but I know if I say it out loud, those haters will come. Yeah. And and that's what what sucks. But that is secretly what I'm trying to figure out how. Right. The best way that I can with being able to still work a job, mm -hmm. <laughs> work two jobs mm -hmm. and take care of my daughter. Right. You know, um, because I can't sit there and tell her not to quit, you know, doing her goals. Yeah. And and I quit mine exactly. and didn't tell anybody. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, I did tell everybody, but that's real hypocritical to tell a 14 year old is yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you know, be be this famous artist and musician mm -hmm. and and sports player while I'm over here quitting. So let me ask you this: as you, I, because I, as a, a father of two, I, there are times where I can see them being a little discouraged, and I know, like in me, in my head, like they just need that push, like they just need to believe that whatever random thing they want to do is possible. When so, when you're telling your daughter that, are you? How how I guess how do you feel about that? Like you said that it, like you you can't not tell her because of course like you can't crush a fourteen year old's dream. <laughs> but when you see her doing what she does and putting that work in, do you see what she wants? Do you see her end goal for her? My daughter is is one of the most eclectic individuals I've ever embodied in life, and mm -hmm. it's the most amazing thing to watch. But it's also the most obnoxious thing to deal with <laughs> as a parent. Yeah, but um, because she wants to do so much and she pushes herself and she is her mama's child. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing that I do that I wish I could get mm -hmm. is I give her that moment. You know, if she's having artist block, if she wants to try a new instrument, if she wants to try a new sport, we have that conversation. Right. You know, we actually just had a conversation this morning, oddly enough. And we, we weigh the pros and the cons and how it makes her feel. Right. And what is her end goal for it? And also me reminding her, well, just because this doesn't work out at this time doesn't mean that you can't try again later. Mm -hmm. I do the reassurance and give the, the support that I have not been given. Gotcha. So that gives her the freedom to be like, OK, I may not do this. Like she's been an artist since she was like five. Yeah. She's been drawing and it's been a huge battle. And I've had to show her her old artwork, you know, just for her mm, to see progress where she can. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the most amazing thing. And, and she, like I said, when she's having her art brock, when she's having her issues, I try to give her solutions. And then when I can't give her solutions, sometimes I just sit there and let her go. Yeah. I, I take the muzzle off. I take the leash off. <laughs> go ahead, baby. Go ahead and cuss. Mm. Sit there and say procreates a bitch. <laughs> it's all right. You can you can sit there and say fuck these AI yeah. programs. They're messing up things. Animation is hard. Mm -hmm. Suck my dick. Mm -hmm. You know all of that. You go ahead. But it's that that emotion. Yeah. You know I let her feel that because sometimes that is the issue. We suppress that disappointment. We suppress that frustration, and we're constantly told to keep going. Mm -hmm. And that I and a lot of people preach in quote burnout. Right. Well, respectively, burnout is internal if because we're not processing it. We're not dealing with it. We're suppressing it. So I do that to her. But now I'm in the process of, well, how do I do that for me? Gotcha. Gotcha. And I, I was just about to bring it back around. So this is where your current mindset's at right now. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to figure that out and and quote unquote partner push. We, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a goal. That's Listen, as someone who has not done a partner push, like seeing what goes into it that is a uh, daunting and i salutes to you for doing it and because you know what the goal is you know what you want to do now it's just a matter of what's the execution what's the plan to get there i've been researching it so if i find anything i come across i'll be shooting it your way i mean i I've, you know the funny thing is is i've, I've been denied four times do they give reasons when they now when they deny <laughs> um yes Yes, oh. unfortunately they oh. do. Oh, um, no. oh, and I learned the hard way the first two times, yeah. and then, yeah, the second, the third, and fourth time just was very interesting situations. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so I, I, I have an idea of what I can do, but it's just like it's just like a relationship. You can't be in a relationship by yourself. <laughs> I mean, you can. I mean, self love is a great thing, but you know, you can't sit there and be like, I'm, I'm, you know. I have a spouse or a partner mm -hmm. with yourself. It looks kind of awkward. I, yeah. You know, I can't give the, the check mark to myself. Mm. It has to be, you know, brought in. So it's trying to stay in the place where I need to, to do that. And that's really the hardest part. Gotcha. You know, ev everybody has their lucky moment or their breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And it's never going to be the same for one person as it is for another. So I have to figure out what's going to work for me. And I also have to, be more positively vocal about it. Yes. And I don't think I've been that either. 
Yes. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you said that because I was gonna probably bring it up. But no, like like I okay, I know you didn't ask, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. All of those wins that you had last year, you gotta celebrate those. Because I know it's not the partner. I know it's not the part the, the, the goal that you hit, but and I know you probably heard this and I know you want to hear this shit, but you were doing shit that people dream of doing. Like I know, like it's a I don't know how you feel, but for me, like I know I don't want to work like if I worked with EA, that'd be dope, but that's not what my end goal is. Part of me would not celebrate it like I think I should. Cause I think if you celebrate those the small wins, like that'll keep the the uh, frustration a little at bay a little bit. You're like, you know what? I didn't hit this shit, but at least I fucking I'm getting money from EA. That's crazy. I, the funny part is, is I've I've been that arrogant person. I have. I've done that. Um, <laughs> the the problem I, I do I celebrate my victories big and small. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Um, sometimes they're just private. Um, All right, because hey. we know how yeah we know how okay. social media. Is. I feel you. So yeah, I've I've sat there and I've called my sister on the phone and screamed and you know or I'll send a screenshot to my best friend. So I you know I'll tell I'll tell Pants. Pants is you know she gets all the information right then and there. So I do okay. celebrate the small things. I think for me it's just when you're having that conversation and like you said from you you know the outside looking in it's like well you still got wins and it's like yes I did. But that's not the win I need right now. I'm happy for them. They gave me the stair steps to get to where I am. But I, I, I need this win to feel complete. So I, I, I definitely be throwing a little two step parties. All right, parties, all I right. that's all I was hoping for. Because you got like <laughs> that'd be fun. Even if nobody's seen it, it's just you. You're like, oh my god! I just for me like today, I put up a post on on TikTok, and then within like ten minutes, it has seventeen hundred views, which to bigger creators that ain't shit to me i've been posted that account in like three months and i was like hey i told my wife i was like hey look at this i don't even know what this comment means but it's dope i didn't go tell everybody <laughs> like i didn't need to but yes celebrate your wins even if they're yeah. to yourself that shit feels good <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all right mm -hmm, dope yes. all right i knew it i just had to check i just that wasn't for you that was for everybody <laughs> listening right yes they yes, learning yes, yes, right yes, now yes. <laughs> Speaking of learning, uh, I'm going ahead and jump into it. Lessons learned, infamous. What lesson have you learned through content creation that you have taken either through your journey or outside of that back into real life? What was the lesson that burned into your head? Everybody is not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is, is not your friend. And that sounds real messed up how I'm saying it, but I'm going to, I'm going to break it down in this sense. You know, we, we play video games, uh, we stream, we do, you know, art, music or whatever. Um, and in this world of creation, you can make friends, but that does not mean every body is your friend. And I learned that too many times in the past several years from the first year I started to hell just the past several months everybody is not your friend right. and that's okay mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i would love to have more people in my life to support what i do mm -hmm. that know me outside of being infamous. right and i would love to be able to bring more of the real I, the best term is real world to the friends that i have met on you know, being basically social media content creation realm. Right. But it's a very hard balance because a lot of us, you know, do want that, that type of bond, that type of relationship. And it's okay that you can just be somebody's viewer. You can just be somebody's mod. You can just be somebody's VIP. Mm -hmm. You can support them. You know, they can support you. And that's where it ends. Right. But if you are actually able to make somebody that is your like friend that you know sits there and hangs out with you in discord sits there and is at your stream I actually went to dreamhack last month and i got to meet one of my oh, friends that is also one of my mom that is awesome and i've known her for years you know yeah and i cried like soon as she hugged me i i busted into of tears <laughs> and then and that's the thing like so it, it's it's not the worst statement in the world. It's just, just know where you're putting your head mm -hmm. at. You can have people and, and just be cool with them. Like I, I teach my daughter this, 
And this is why I'm being able to say this as a content creator. I tell my daughter, you need to know your placement with people. You know, mm -hmm. you can consider somebody your best friend, but that don't mean they consider you theirs. Right. You have to know your placement. And it's even more in this space because I've heard so many stories that it's like, well, I just was trying to be this big streamer's friend. Well, that big streamer might not be looking for friends. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That big streamer is literally being there for whatever they're being there for. You know, I've had people that, you know, they thought, you know, it was more of this person was a friend and this person flirted a little bit more and they didn't know where this person sat mm -hmm. at. Know your space control your space and if you're never just not sure put your big people pants on yes. your underoos yes. your pantaloons and have a conversation Please. i know it's scary mm -hmm. i know it's hard but hey are we are we good are we can i hit you up like i have to tell people there are certain particular people that i tell them you know like hey you can dm me you can you can you have my phone number there's certain people that have my actual phone number that can call my yeah. phone and wake me up. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it, but they wake me up. Everybody don't have that type of exactly. access to me, baby, because um I don't answer my phone for everybody. Okay. I'm 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 a I'm a very petty person in life. <laughs> but it's it's those type of levels. There's some people, the most conversations that I've had is maybe in a chat. Right. And and there's people who I've been in their streams. I you know, I've subbed, I've gave bits and those people have never followed me, never rated me, never liked the tweet. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I pull me back. Right. Yeah. That per that that person just wants this particular thing. And you know what? If I'm okay with that, then I'm okay with mm -hmm. that. But if I want more than that, then and this person isn't willing to give me that, well, guess what? Let me take my energy because it's mine. It belongs to mm -hmm. me. Put it back to where it belongs with me. And try to find someone that will appreciate my energy a little bit better. Oh, yeah. You learn that, it will save you so much heartache mm. on this platform. Trust yes. me. Trust me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I've been talking a lot about energy with my wife. I, I, she's not tired of it. She loves it. I was about to say she's probably tired of it, but I'm not going to speak that into existence. But, yeah, energy, like, when you look at it as, okay, this is how much energy I have for the week. What bullshit is going to try to chop away at it? And when you start protecting that energy and like, you know what, I'm setting this boundary. We can't hang out anymore for X, Y, and Z, or I was putting too much energy over in this bucket and they're not reciprocating. I'm taking that back. Like when you start doing that, things start changing for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing of it is, is also having that understanding, the amount of people that don't realize, you know, I lurk, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm queen lurker. I, you, you know, I won't say anything and it's not because I don't want to enjoy your content you know it's just the fact of that's exactly what i'm doing yes. i'm sitting back exactly. and i'm enjoying your content and if i've had a long work week or i'm sick or you know my illnesses are flaring up i just want to enjoy you playing your game yeah. i may not have the spoons to be social with everybody in mm -hmm. chat but i may be sitting there lurking like there's a bunch of people that be like you watch my stream yeah. yes i watch a lot of stream i have three accounts oh I used Ooh. I have three accounts. I used to I I not used to be, but I am an influencer manager by profession. Gotcha. So there's been some of my employers where I've had to scout people. You think I'm gonna yes. scout people under the name <laughs> Infamous X One X? Nah, 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 nah. No, no, because you know what didn't happen? I done walked in people's streams and their mods and VIPs know who exactly. I am. No, then they know else she's coming for this organization, mm -hmm. this organization, or this company. No, uh, I want to get, I don't want you to change up who you are. I don't want you to, I'm coming to enjoy your content. So yes, I will, I will be, I, be under my bots account. Yeah. And if you know my channel, then you know my bot. So then at, sometimes I get caught that right. way. Like, if, why are you over here on this account? <laughs> and then I have a whole nother account that nobody knows the name and I'll interact with people and be like, yeah, this is why I chose oh, you. You're great. And you'll awesome. never know it's me. You'll never know it's I me. Love that. And, and, and. That's that's just that's just it. But if you don't have the energy for stuff, that doesn't mean somebody doesn't support you. That doesn't mean somebody doesn't care yeah. or rock with you. You know, mm -hmm. trust me. Like yeah, you'll know. You you'll know if and if you're not sure, then once again have the exactly. big people conversation exactly. and just ask. And if you don't have the energy for it, just leave. Yeah, I have to. I have to ask you because I know people are dying to know. 
words of advice, new creator or a creator who's been doing it for a while or someone who is creating content in general, what type of advice, aside from the amazing, not everybody is your damn friend, that's both a lesson <laughs> learned and words of advice, but aside from that, what type of advice would you provide to this person? Kendrick Lamar said something and he said it very clearly, sit down and be humble. I keep things on my walls. I have tattoos on me and I never forget who I am. Mm -hmm. And when you remember who you are, like the Lion King says, you remember why you decided to do this. And if you have no idea of why you decided to do this, then you need to take a step back. Sometimes we see other people. And like I said, I told you in the beginning, Dark Zero Omega brought me here, mm -hmm. but we never made the same content. We're not the same people. You know, I, I love the I love him dearly and he's an amazing man, but we are two separate entities. If you came to do this because you've seen, well, this person makes money and that person makes money and this person's been on an advertisement, I'm gonna need you to sit back and reflect mm -hmm. because it takes a lot. And you have to deal with a lot. And like I tell my daughter, you never know what back end deals. You never know what was sold. You never know what was given behind closed doors for them to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. You can be inspired by it, but don't imitate it. Because people are going to see the imitation and it's not going to last very long. Yes. But if you know the real reason why you came, just like I said, I want what I want. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I know who I am and that's been who I yes. am. Take a step back. It's okay. Like, it's a huge fear. Like, oh my gosh, I can't take a step back from creation. I was gone for three months. I appeared when I needed to appear. Mm -hmm. And I was also in a Fortnite competition. I competed in Overwatch. I, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I just appeared yeah. when I needed right. to. And, and you know what? And my numbers look about, about the same. Why? Because if the people who support you miss you, then they miss you. And if you're transparent, I'm very transparent. Mm -hmm. I'm public, but private. I will tell people I'm not feeling well. I will tell people that I'm working. I will tell people to limitations that, you know, my daughter is ill or my, I have to help my daughter with school. I'm transparent. If you're honest with people, they'll understand why you're not there. Right. Exactly. So if you need to take the step back to refocus yourself, to make sure you're on your path and you're not on this streamer's path or this YouTuber's path or this kick streamer's path or that TikTok person's path, then you need to be transparent, not just with the people who are supporting you, but with yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you can reinvent yourself and come back. And when you come back, you'll come back a lot better because you'll have the refocus of who you are and why did you decide to do this? As always, people I know dropping dope ass, amazing advice. <laughs> Infamous, thank you for that because. I see it all the time. People see their favorite streamer doing their thing and then emulate it. And then that's, again, mm -hmm. like you said, people are going to see it. And that disingenuous content is not what people want. And they, they call it out quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cancel culture is oh, real. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can, you know what? I'm not even going to get started. <laughs> uh, Enfy, where can the people find your content at? I am literally predominantly almost everywhere under my name. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put the M in there. Yes. And that's a one. It's not an L. Mm -hmm. But my main platforms where you can see content is, of course, Twitch. Twitch is my home. I, and I do have stuff on TikTok. Like I said, I did take a hiatus from basically everything for the past last three months. So I'll be back on TikTok putting up clips. Twitter, I'm randomly tweeting stuff and I am a picture whore. Uh -huh. So you may occasionally catch pictures on Instagram. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so th those are the best places. I'm, I'm not a huge YouTube girl. Why? Because I cuss a lot. Yeah. I have cleavage and I play violent games. Yeah, they would, they would um, not let you get monetized. Easily. Not, mm, not easily. They get me every time. Are you for real? They get me every time. Yeah, yeah. No, a, 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 no, no. A clip that I went viral for on TikTok got flagged on wow. YouTube. Wow. Um, I was, cussing. I was cussing. Okay. Okay. Um, I was cussing, and it's yeah. fine. I, you know, I, I tell people all the time, I'm an adult creator. I have a kid. I don't make content. Exactly. For no disrespect for those who do, but right. I'm very honest about that. I cuss. Right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my main platforms is Twitch, Twitter, X, Twitter, X. I don't know. <laughs> Twitter's ex girlfriend, yeah, yeah. I guess, whatever it is. 
Instagram and TikTok. You can find something. I try to put as many different things. And then sometimes you'll find everything all in one place and be like, hey, I missed that. So, yeah, those are the best places to find me. (laughs) Hell, yes. If you're not already following Infamous on any of these variety of platforms, go ahead and fix that and do so. As always, I'm going to go ahead and drop my little call to action. If you know any creators who can get any type of benefits from conversation like these and more, please share the podcast with them. Upload it unfiltered. I'm on every platform you can think of, specifically Spotify and Apple Music, because they have the best analytics. Also, leave me a review and uh, let me know how I'm doing. Other than that, Infamous, thank you once again for dropping tons of gems tonight. I, I think I'm just really good at this because I knew I knew you had some info on you. I knew you were going to drop some information, and I appreciate it, and I cannot wait for the people to hear this. You're very welcome. Oh, yes. Another successful episode. As always, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will talk to you all in the next one.